Hey everybody, I'm playing an RTS now, for reasons beyond my controller understanding. Actually, so I listened to Watch Out for Fireballs, good podcast, uh, episode about Warcraft 3 Reign of Chaos, and I got so salty about the things they got wrong that I, someone was wrong on the internet, so I had to intervene. Also, I want to play Warcraft 3 again, it's fun. But in order for any of this to make any fucking sense, I'm going to have to give you guys an abridged history of all of Warcraft 3. Or all of Warcraft. Very abridged. Very abridged. Uh, so I'm just going to talk over all the shit that doesn't have actual dialogue. Uh, so basically, in order for us to make any sense of this... Uh, the sands of time have run out, son of Duratan. We will have to remake the entire universe. So, uh, an infinitely long time. Cries of war echo upon the winds. An infinitely long time ago, a group of creatures in space. I just call the great old ones. They probably have names, but I don't remember what they the are. The remnants of the past scar the land. They just spent their time making planets. Cause that was cool. That was fun. They had a fun time making planets. Which is the sea. Once again, by conflict. But there were a bunch of things that kept growing in the voids between the worlds that they made. And uh, those things are demons. And the demons were jealous of these great old ones making planets. And they were like, fuck that, we're going to burn these planets to the ground. Because they wouldn't let us in on their planet building party. Uh, so after a while, like, altogether too long a while, the great old ones were like, Man, what? Someone's been blowing up our planets. Who the shit? So, being, because the great old ones just like making planets, they don't care what happens to them afterward, really. So, they created a thing, the Titan Sargeras. And they were like, yo, Sargeras, keep these planets safe. And Sargeras was like, sweet! What is my Heroes purpose? Heroes arise to challenge fate and lead their brethren to battle. Like, Sargeras is the equivalent of the 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 robot from Rick and Morty that's developed to pass As butter. Mortal armies rush blindly towards their doom. The burning shadow comes to consume us all. Ah. Uh. So Sargeras started getting super pissy that the that the great old ones wouldn't answer his questions or talk to him. Uh, you must rally the horde and lead your people to their destiny. Yep. Uh, so the demons were like, "Hey, See maybe if you now. destroy enough planets." You know, maybe they'll actually be forced to talk to you. And Sargeras was like, that's a brilliant idea! Because apparently the Great Old Ones made him to be just a fucking idiot. Uh, unfortunately, Sargeras and the demons had a hard time attacking the world of Azeroth. Uh, so now we're going to jump to 18,000 years ago. From this point in the story, right here. Sup, Thrall? What kind of nightmare was that? A very well animated one. It was not a nightmare, young war chief, but a vision. Follow me, and I will reveal what your future holds. Thanks, Prophet. I don't know what this is all about, but I'll play along. So, 18,000 years ago, there were elves. Let's get on with they weren't it. night elves, they were just elves because there was only one kind For of elf honor. at the time skillfully done however the orc encampment is still far off in order to reach the next banner scroll the screen to the north oh god please okay good. good i can over the i can overlap the these leads through a black area notice how the black area shrinks as thrall moves through it this reflects areas you have explored so i am thrall just gonna try to skip through to this as quickly as possible the encampment Loktar, my warriors. We are yours to command, Watch. I am. Now that your troops are all selected, order them to move to the next banner. Prepare yourselves. 
I sense a knoll ahead. It's a single knoll crawl. crawl. Calm down. To defeat this foul creature, select all of your troops. Click on the attack. Wow, this you're making some spirit. judgment there. But the knoll's creature totally foul. Order your troops to perform an aggressive attack move into the Disgusting enemy encounter. Disgusting knoll. To do this, select all of your troops. Click the attack button and then left click on the ground in the middle of the knoll camp. Already done. But are there anything in their houses? Sometimes. So the Warcraft 3 Reign of Chaos campaign is really pedantic. I don't know if pedantic is the right word. They waste your fucking time because they hide loot in in houses and buildings and structures. And the items they usually give they give are usually very bad. But you gotta get them. I want the prezzies. Anyway, so we can go back to 18,000 years ago and Tyler was for honor. rudely interrupted by this narrator. Um, yeah. So elves. So Warchief, we've discovered a group of murloc raiders in the nearby river. The murlocs would make excellent targets for your new chain lightning spell. To have Zap. Thrall use his new ability, click on the chain lightning. Some monsters drop treasure when uh, this particular treasure chest contained a useful potion of mana. Notice that the potion now occupies one of Thrall's inventory slots near the bottom middle of your screen. Potions of mana can be used to replenish a hero's mana. The magic energy that allow the casting of spells such as chain lightning. Hey! Did you know that reading the card tells you what it does? For honor. Can I talk about elves now? That night has begun. Apparently Be not. Wary, my warriors. Don't let nightfall dull your senses. Dumb. You can use Dumb. nighttime to d d implement yes. killer ambushes. Or just like get ambushed yourself. Anyway, so 18,000 years ago, Dumb. elves. Oh, a sleepy ogre. We'd have a fierce battle on our hands if the beast weren't sleeping. Yeah, I'm gonna wake it up. Oh, very fierce. This ogre is terribly tough. Let's get on. Later, man. Oh, I thought he'd have treasure. He did not. Yes. Okay, so elves. Uh, the elven queen was like, yes. guys, I made this sick ass fountain. Dumb. It's filled with magic power. Don't ask where it yes. came from, and it's gonna make us live forever. And it gives us sick magic powers. Um, spoilers. Yes. Uh, the the magic fountain came Dumb. from demons. Oh. Watch yourselves, my brethren. Those creatures do not sleep at night. Uh, so the spirits right. are restless. So the the, the, yes. the magic power came from demons, and she started going fucking crazy. Just like, yeah, you know, whatever. I just sacrificed a bunch of babies and get a bunch of magic power. What of it? Uh, so a couple of the elves d did not approve of the madness that she was doing. For honor. So uh, those, there are probably a bunch more, but the three elves that matter are Fury and Storm Rage, Illid and Storm Rage, and Tyrande Whisperman. And they were like, that shit's fucked up. That's fucked up, yo. We can't let this keep happening. We gotta, we gotta put a stop to this. So excellent. Thrall has found a magic ring. Rings are very useful because they provide a constant passive benefit as long as they are carried. Uh, so, so they all teamed up together and created a resistance to fight the incursion of demons and the crazy queen. Uh, but problem, we got two dudes who are brothers and a lady. You know what that means? Love triangle. So yeah, Illidan and Furion both both were in love and love. I still can't believe they were ever a part of the horde. Spirits are restless. Um. But, uh, so, like, Saranda was like, I'm going to become the priestess of the moon. And that went pretty good. Uh, and that, that was a very successful endeavor. Oh, jeez. This guy's going to die. Ah, shit, he's dead. Poor Stroll Berserkers are tough. Also, medium armor just takes full damage from everything. Yoink. Very good. That treasure chest held a magic tome that can be used to give Thrall a permanent benefit. Look, um, so, but, so, so Trond was like, I'm going to become a priestess of the moon. And, um, Furion was like, I'm going to learn 
I'm gonna harness the power of the, of the world and become a druid. And um, Illidan was like, hey, I'm gonna go make a bunch of deals with these demons, and then when they all come to collect, I'm just gonna kill them. Um, and together they became strong enough to overthrow the evil queen. Nice work, everyone. Yeah. Uh, but Taronda was like, I love Furion because he's not a weird demon man. And also he just treats me better than you, Illidan. You got some weird ambitions. And he was like, yeah, okay. That's cool. Like, considering what you expect of fantasy stories, he took it awfully well. Aha, we know how to walk around. Nice, nice work, us. Greetings, son of Duritan. I knew you'd find your way. It was you I saw in the vision. Who are you? How do you know me? I know many things, young Warchief, about you and your people. My identity at this time is unimportant. What is important is that you rally your people and leave these shores immediately. Leave? What's this all about, human? Human? <laughs> I left my humanity behind long ago. I am something different now. Know that I have seen the future and beheld the great burning shadow that is coming to consume this world. You sense it as well, don't you? The demons are returning. Yes, and only by leading your people across the sea to the distant lands of Kalimdor, will you have a chance to stand against them. But how can we- I will answer all of your questions in time, young Warchief. For now, rally your warriors and prepare to leave this land. We will speak again. None of this makes sense. But the spirits tell me that I should trust him. It's nice when you got spirit guides back in you. So, they defeated the Dark Queen, and that was pretty sick. Uh, so, the elves that, that that sided with her went east. Right, so the, 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 the land they lived on was destroyed in the Great Conflict. Uh, and the elves that had allied with the Evil Queen went east, and the elves that uh, allied with Furion and his ilk went west. Um, but Illidan... Illidan uh, had three concerns. One, now that the fountain, now that the, the, the great well of power had been destroyed, uh, Taronda was going to die. Uh, two, uh, he was going to die. Uh, it made all the elves mortal. And three, uh, he had, I mean, like, so he's fueled by demon magic, so he loves some of him that magic power. He's got He's got a bit of an addiction to magic, so he took... Two vials of the water of of the of the of the fountain and went west, and the the elves that would become the night elves started setting everything up and they were like, yeah, everything looks good. We got some, we got a new lake over here and we got a new city over here and we're all aging and you know everything's good. The demons have lost their foothold in this world and uh, now they're never gonna get another one again. And then Illidan dumped that water in the lake and turned it into another well of eternity. And they were like, what the fuck, bruh? We just got rid of this. And he's like, no, 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 But now we won't have an evil queen. Everything will be fine. And he's like, no, you idiot. There's going to be an evil queen eventually. All right, Illidan, dungeon forever. Uh, I'm going to plant uh, some dragons gave me a magic seed. And I'm going to plant a giant tree in the water that will suppress its abilities, but will still live forever. But we won't be able to draw magical power from it. Uh, but now the demons have their foot in the door of our world. Fuck. And then the elves that went east were like, aha, there's still magic. We'll just make another well of power and call it the sun well and do our best not to be evil this time. And they did a pretty good job of not being evil. But uh, Furion made a deal with a green dragon, and so he and all of his buddies have to sleep forever. And so Taronda and the rest of the Night Elf women stay awake and deal with the troubles in the forest. Oh, also, they were aided by their uh, by a god named Cenarius. He's a cool guy. I mean, mostly. He has had a whole legion of bastard children who are trying to overwhelm the Earth, but let's not worry about that. Anyway, Chapter 2, Departures. It's been three days in this... Prophet has yet to show himself. I hope I'm not making a huge mistake by trusting him. 
War Chief, the clans are assembling as you ordered, but it will take them some time to reach us. Then we must prepare this camp immediately. I want my warriors to have food and proper lodgings when they arrive. Yes, War Chief. Warrior, has there been any word from Grom Hellscream? He and the Warsong clan were supposed to have been here by now. No, War Chief. We haven't heard from Hellscream in some time. Damn it, Grom. Where the hell are you? Ah, don't worry. I'm certain he's fine. He's not fine. What do you want? The blinking button at the top of the screen indicates that your quest journal has been updated. To find out more about your objectives, click on the quest button. Dabu, for honor. So. Once a peon has been ordered to harvest God gold, damn it. you will automatically travel back and forth between the gold mine and your closest great hall. Here are a few additional peons. To increase the rate of gold, spirits are restless. The amount of gold that you currently possess is displayed in the upper right portion of your screen. As peons return to your great hall with gold, your gold stockpile increases. The training a unit takes time. When your great hall is selected, you can see a progress indicator in the bottom middle portion of your screen. This music is a little too loud for me. I hope it's not too loud for you, but it is just like way too loud for me. There we go. Much better. The spirits are restless. Ah, the bridge is down. What the fuck? Ready to work. Oh damn! I am getting way more gold than I was expecting. Population. Additional orc burrows will have to be constructed. Burrows provide the food that allows you to train more troops. No, really? Burrow, select one of your peons. I'll worry about that later. Ready to work. Later is now. Click on the build structure button in the command card. We're under attack. I am. Uh, so that's all ancient history. We can kind of skip ahead to the recent past. Um, motherfucker, I already been harvesting lumber. I've been had lumber. Shapow. Um, so with that behind them, humans were motherfucker. You will automatically travel back and forth between the forest and your closest great hall. For honor. Humans were born on Azeroth, and that was generally considered to be a bad thing. Uh, as well as dwarves and gnomes and trolls. And life was pretty good for a while. Can increase the efficiency of your lumber harvester. Try ordering a peon to construct a war mill near where your peons are chopping wood. Work complete. Um... Oh, want? sweet. Nice burrow, bruh. I am the um. Oh, my God. Okay, yes, that's true. Uh, so, uh, things are going pretty good for the humans and the dwarves and the gnomes and the elves, and that was that was all good. But meanwhile, on another world, Draenor, uh, the orcs were having a bit of trouble. Uh, I don't remember exactly what the issue was. I think they were having... Uh, like, so the orcs had always sort of they loved fighting each other and their clans uh but i think some uh, i don't remember exactly what happened but some demons showed up and were like hey do you want to fight a bunch of other people and take over a whole planet and the orcs were like yeah okay that sounds pretty cool i'm down with that yeah all right all right cool um and so the the the, the demons are like sweet all right all you gotta do is drink this giant goblet of demon blood and the, uh, when they said that, the orcs were got a little squicky because, like, up until that point, various upgrades that can be researched. Up until that point, like, the orcs had uh, had had a had a civilization based on like, congratulations, you know, uh, shamans and spirit uh, spirit worship, and you know, when a bunch of demons just showed up and said, "Yeah, no, drink this demon blood; it'll give you magic powers." Uh, but Grom Hellscream, the aforementioned Grom Hellscream, is like, Give me that blood! You're a bunch of wimps! Check it out! I'ma chug this blood! So he chugged that blood and got some evil berserker strength, and he was like, This shit's awesome. Y'all should drink this demon blood. So everybody drank the demon blood. Except for Thrall's father? I think Thrall's father didn't drink the demon blood. But at that point, like, the demon blood magic had gotten into all the orcs, so they were all getting the evil power. Um... 
And meanwhile, back on Azeroth, there were three humans of note. Uh, Terranus, who, uh, who was the young king of Azeroth, his knight commander, uh, Lothar, Anduin Lothar, and the guardian of the Kirin Tor, Medivh. So Medivh's mom, uh, so Sargeras himself came down to Azeroth uh, to, to, to take over the planet, and Medivh's mom was like, fuck that, I'm gonna beat the shit out you. And so Medivh's mom kicked the shit out of Sargeras, and she kicked his ass so hard that he died, or an avatar of him died, and all that remained of him was uh, his eye on a what was his eye on the island where they fought, and he was like, "Aha, I've got special powers." Uh, so, so Medivh's mom was the guardian of the Kirin Tor at the time. And she was, I think, I think she didn't know that she was pregnant. Anyway, she was pregnant. Uh, and so Sargeras was like, I'm going to take over your demon. Uh, I'm going to take over your baby. And she was like, what? What the fuck did you say? I just killed you. And he's like, nothing. Don't worry about it. You have just placed a rally point for your structure. Whenever a unit finishes training from this building, he will automatically travel to the rally point's location. To place a rally point, select one of your unit producing structures and right click on the ground where you want the rally point. So Sargeras possessed the, 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 the Babby Mediv. And it was it's just fucked up. Who possesses a Babby? Um Sargeras, that's who. So uh Medivh grew older and he just had this sort of like scratching in the back of his head, like there was a spell he had to work on or 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 you know, there was there was something Yet to do, there was a there was a ritual that he just did, longed to complete, and so he spent his days and nights working on a ritual, the the effects of which he didn't fully understand. Uh, and then once he was finished with it, Sargeras assumed direct control and took over his body, and he was like, "Sweet, I have all I have most of my demon powers, and all of Medivh's sick super magical powers." So, uh, I'm gonna open up a portal between Azeroth and Draenor. Remember Draenor? The place with all of the orcs that have drunk the demon blood? Yeah! Yeah! Because regular demon invasions just weren't working. So they opened up this dark portal between these two worlds and the orcs poured out and the humans were like, Oh shit, this is bad. Um, and the humans did their best to try to fend off the orcs, but they got their asses kicked. It's, they got fucked up. They, like... Things got so bad, the orcs took over and looted the uh, Lordaeron capital of Stormwind. And, like, everyone considered that to just be the darkest day. Um, I mean, oh no! You orcs are in violation of the Alliance Internment Act. We've already captured one of your leaders. If you surrender now, we'll spare your lives. Warchief, they say they've captured one of our leaders. Maybe they're referring to Krom. I hope not. But if they have captured Hellscream, I'll make them regret it. Lothar Ogar! Come, my warriors. We must drive the humans back. Um, so, uh, and that was considered, you know, be the darkest day of the war. Well, the darkest day since, um, uh, Medivh had been killed. Uh, in his, you know, demon-fueled madness, uh, they had to kill him. They had to, they had to put him down like old Yeller. The, the guy had gone crazy. Uh, and so Lothar and, uh, Terranus, you know, wept their tears for their dearly beloved friend who just had gone off the fucking deep end. Uh, so... So the humans lost the first war, but winter came, and, you know, when winter comes... Humans have been destroyed. Move Thrall and the rest of your forces across the bridge and locate Grom. Nah, man, there are gnolls over here. I'm gonna kill those gnolls. Yes. I'm also gonna send these peons over here to fix these watchtowers. Uh, so, um... One of your structures was down. Yeah, I'm already on it! Fuck, Jesus Christ. Select the peon, click the repair button, and then left-click on the desired structure. God damn it. Uh, bop, bop, bop. Anyway, right, so, uh, th things were bad. But the, the humans sent out a call to the elves, and they were like, Yo, elves, these orcs are going crazy, and you can be certain that after they kick our asses, they're going to come kick yours. 
And they similarly sent words to the gnomes and the elves and all those guys. And they were like, yeah, this is bad. We can't let this shit happen. This shit's fucked up. We gotta, we gotta take care of these guys. We gotta nip this in the bud, yo. So, they all worked together and formed the Alliance. Uh, the orcs, having seen that, were like, oh, this is bad. Uh, so there are these trolls that live up in Elfland. Maybe we can, uh, maybe we can convince them to work with us to take revenge against the uh, the elves that have treated them so poorly over the years. And they also went back beyond the dark portal into Draenor, and took some ogres out of retirement. And they were like, "Hey, ogres, you love eating people. Why don't you come join us to eat some humans? We'll give you sick magical powers." And so the orcs gave uh, ogres sick magical powers, and this was considered to be a terrible idea. But you know, things happen. Oh, hey, damn it. Let's uh, go. So, long story short. Uh, the orcs lost. The orcs will lose. The orcs lost. The orcs will always win. Uh, the orcs will always lose. Uh, the, the orcs lost yeah. because uh, Orgrim Doomhammer, Supreme War Chief of the Horde, uh, was betrayed by uh, his dearest advisor's apprentice. So back on Draenor, Ner'zhul declared himself to be the Lord of the Horde. He's like, I'm the War Chief. Everybody shut the fuck up. I'm in charge. And Orgrim Doomhammer was like, fuck that, I'm going to kick your ass. Ner'zhul was a pretty adept warlock and a pretty good shaman, but he was actually not a very good unarmed fighter. For honor. Uh, so he got his ass kicked by uh, by Orgrim Doomhammer, and Orgrim Doomhammer was like, all right, I'm the war chief. You can keep doing magic things. Uh, but if I recall correctly, like it seemed like Ner'zhul sort of threw the fight, and that always worried Doomhammer. A little, but he didn't let it get to him. But Ner'zhul's apprentice, Gul'dan, was like, Fuck this shit. I'm tired of biding our time. I just want the sick demon power. You know what? I read the Book of Medivh, Medivh's spell book. I know that I know the island where Sargeras was killed. So I'm going to go to the island and find his eyeball and get a bunch of sick magic demon powers. And he opened up the, uh, the tomb of Sargeras, and there was just a bunch of fucking demons in there who were like, What the? No. No, we're not giving you our power. What? Are you crazy? And he's like, yeah. And they're like, oh, this no makes regard, sense now. God. Your army has grown to such a large size that it now oh. requires a portion of your income to sustain it. This maintenance cost is referred to as upkeep. A lot of things happened all at once. So, so while Gul'dan was doing that, uh, Orgrim Doomhammer was like, all right, I'm going to lure the human commander into a trap. I'm going to tell Uther, uh, I'm sorry, not Uther. Uh, I'm going to tell Anduin Lothar that we're just wanna, we just want to talk and, you know, maybe we can reach a truce or maybe there can be peace. And when I get him to the when negotiation table, we're going to kill him. So they killed Lothar. The demons attacked the orcish encampment. It was fucking bedlam. Let's get on. Uh, and, uh... When you control multiple spellcasters at the same time, Look, it often becomes necessary to quickly switch between them to cast their individual spell. By using the sub interface, you can yes. do so without having to try to select them individually. When the humans uh, defeated the orcs... The ah. currently selected units are displayed in the bottom middle portion of your screen by little portraits. One of the unit portraits is highlighted with a yellow glow. This means that it is the currently activated sub -group. You can switch between subgroups by pressing the tab key or left clicking on one of the portraits that is not highlighted. This activates that subgroup and displays their spells in your command card. Uh. Elves, humans. Right, so so they were able to defeat Orgrim Doomhammer's forces with the aid of the demons. Uh, and they kicked their ass all the way back through the dark portal. They did not let up. They just kept fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting until they got them. They got rid of them. Um, so beyond the dark portal, uh, the demons having abandoned the orcs. Then destroy them. Hellscream must be free. Hellscream was a hero of the first and second Orcish Wars. Uh, but we'll get to... He doesn't have much of a part in the story, really. He's just a kick-ass... He's just a kick-ass orc. Um, so... Scoobity-bop, beep-bop. Uh, 
Uh, right, so Nerazul plotted and schemed beyond the dark portal. And Khadgar, Medivh's apprentice, was like, man, this yes. shit's fucked. Yes. My, my, my goddamn right away. mage daddy went fucking nuts. And I feel like the orcs are doing something fucky beyond the dark portal. I blew it up, but they could always remake it. Uh, this is bad. So, uh, Khadgar blew up the dark portal, but he was still afraid of what the orcs were doing on the other side. And we're going to rescue Grom Hellscream. Now I can finish my history lesson unmolested. So, uh, Nerzul's plan was to create a bunch of dark portals and invade a bunch of less powerful worlds, less powerful than Azeroth. That way, when they came back to Draenor, they'd be able to, they would have five times the manpower by having five times the number of planets uh, under their control. Uh, the humans didn't really know that, but they just knew that Nerzul was up to no good. So they reconstructed the Dark Portal themselves, using the Book of Medivh, Medivh's own spellbook, uh, went into Draenor, and kicked a bunch of orc butt until Nerzul kind of bit off more than he could chew. So he made four Dark Portals at once, and did you know that if you make too many Dark Portals on a planet, it just sort of rips the whole thing to shreds? So Janor started, like, collapsing from the inside, and all the arcs were like, fuck this, we're out. And they... Gromhill Scream, Kargath Bladefist, and Kilrog Deadeye all took their clans and pushed through the Dark Portal as far as they could, uh, hiding into Lordaeron when they got through to the other side. But a lot of the orcs that made it through uh, after the destruction... after the collapse of Janor... The orcs on the other side just sort of gave up. Like, they have this berserker strength, but, like, a lot of them just sort of, like, stopped. They grew listless and dull. Um, but they're big and strong, so the humans ha didn't really know what to do with them. So they had to keep an eye on them. So they put them in a bunch of camps where they put them to work. Um, it's probably not the best of plans, but, like, when you're dealing with literal evil and, like, curses and, like, dark magic, like, I guess it's okay. I guess. Uh, but one of the, uh, orcs who was born in one of the camps was named Thrall. Literally, slave. So Thrall was put to, uh, put to, made to fight in an illicit orc-on-orc uh, arena um, and he did not like what was going on but he pulled a Spartacus and uh, you know broke out of the arena and broke out of his internment camp and met up with Grom Hellscream one of the few the, the last remaining chief of, a, of an orcish clan Kilrog Deadeye and Kargath Bladefist were either killed or rendered missing in action uh, so he and Grom and the rest of the orcs, like, rounded up a, a group of Darkspear tribe trolls and were like, alright, cool, you trolls were part of the horde before, get in, the rest of the trolls treat you like dirt, and quite frankly, you're welcome with us. And they went north, and in the snowy northlands of Lordaeron, they found none other than Orgrim Doomhammer himself. Uh, he had fled from the battle at Blackrock Spire and had not gone back through the Dark Portal. So they found him, and he was like, Sweet, you guys got the horde back up and running. We don't really want to kill the humans. We just want to, like, live, 
not in a camp. Just get a small country of our own. Doesn't really matter where. We'll, we'll, we'll take the worst of the land because we're orcs and we're tough. Um, uh, uh, and Thrall also met his dad, I think, Dur Duratan, uh, the last of the Frostwolf clan. And Duratan was like, let me teach you the old ways. These fuckers all forgot when they started worshiping demons. I never drank the demon blood. So I'm going to teach you how to contact the spirits. And Thrall became a shaman. And then Orgrim Doomhammer was in charge of the new horde, but he kept Thrall and Grom near at hand. Grom as his old lieutenant, and Thrall as the one who would eventually take his place. And take his place he would, as Orgrim Doomhammer was fucking killed. Uh, like, there there are old orcs and there are bold orcs, but there are no old, bold orcs. So Orgrim Doomhammer died in battle uh, in a skirmish with a bunch of humans. Fucking fucking cadetified, and he gifted his armor and the doom hammer itself to Thrall. Uh, and so Thrall is now the chi war chief of the Horde, and he had a dream like, that just happened. You saw all that, and now they're going to go west to the continent where the Night Elves live. Did I say Night Elves? I mean, there's nothing on the western continent. Shut up. But right now, we got to play as the humans. And I think that's all the history you need to know to understand what's going on. Thank you for joining me on this history lesson. Uh, thank you for joining me on this awful tutorial that was kind of unnecessary, but you know, I got, I have to play it to explain, like, who Thrall is and why are there, there are orcs in Kalimdor. Um, so, yeah, thank you. Good night.